certainly think that a 66-page piece of legislation uh, should require some more debate, some more thought. But Youngstown Mayor John McNally won't get his way. Late this afternoon, Ohio senators voted to allow the state to take over the Youngstown City School District. That's less than 24 hours after the Senate first saw a draft of that plan. 27 First News reporter Amanda Smith takes a look at the law and what it will mean for the school district. It's our top story tonight at 6. This morning, the State Senate Education Committee passed a 68-page bill. It takes away nearly all local control of the Youngstown City Schools. The governor's office says it's necessary to fix the school system. His office sent the following statement on the law to our newsroom today. Governor Kasich supports efforts to re-energize the support systems for struggling schools so that we can make sure that every Ohio student gets the opportunity they need to reach their potential. The law doesn't sit well with nearly anyone in the community. I think it's bad for uh, education in the state of Ohio. It's just a, a ploy to do away with public education and it's going to hurt the most uh, needy in the state. The law creates a school CEO that can hire, fire, open buildings, close buildings, and extend the school year. The CEO can also reopen union contracts and can choose to ignore terms of those contracts that don't deal with wages or health care. The law bypasses the local Board of Education and disbands the Academic Distress Commission. In January, the sitting school board will be removed. Mayor John McNally is supposed to appoint an all-new board. I'm not sure if this whole production today uh, really creates any of that stability that a lot of those folks who are in the system on a daily basis, whether teaching or going to school, are really going to benefit from this entire process. In Youngstown, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News. Now, as Amanda mentioned, one of the pieces of the governor's plan involves dissolving the Academic Distress Commission. 27 First News reporter Lauren Wood continues our team coverage tonight with Commission member Reverend Kenneth Simon. The Academic Distress Commission was actually state mandated itself back when Youngstown City Schools were placed under academic emergency in 2010. The commission became the official governing board of the district, but now the governor wants to change that. Not totally shocked, but more so just disheartened. Reverend Kenneth Simon of New Bethel Baptist Church is a member of the Academic Distress Commission. He says there are a lot of problems with the new plan for Youngstown City Schools. It's not about the kids. It's about control, and uh, it's not fair to this community. It's not fair to our kids. He worries the people decisions affect the most won't be represented. Because you can't control what's going on on a school board that right now is predominantly African American, now we're going to control it from another arena. And he doesn't like the idea of one person having that much power. To give one person control over the district, I mean, that's insane. But perhaps his biggest frustration is the fact that community members weren't consulted. This has been in the plan and the works for some time, and no one from the community that whose children go to these schools has been included. Simon says he's not giving up. We have our collective voice and our collective vote, our protests to uh, address the issues of our concern. Reporting in Youngstown, I'm Lauren Wood, WKBN 27 First News.